Well, hello there, subscribers and new viewers to another sketchbook tour. It's been a while since I've done one of these. I started this sketchbook around October of last year and just finished it yesterday. Usually I try to fill a page a day or a page a week. Sometimes it becomes a page a month. Uh, my sketchbook schedule is just whenever I feel like making something. Be it fan artwork, original characters, some sketch studies, adding some colored pencils to make the page pop, adding some outlines in pen to make sure that the sketches are visible, as well as also adding in with some tape some of my marker or watercolor sketches that are just lying out on loose leaf pages that I want to be able to have all in one place. A handful of these characters are just random. They're not any characters that I'll be reusing for anything, they're just fun warm-ups. Others are actually character designs for future videos that I have in mind. They may also have been something that I planned to make last year that I never got around to, so I'm pushing it to this year. I also just think that having a lot of these sketches to practice have helped me when trying to come up with official ideas for my videos. I tried to come up with a magical girl or magical boy idea that I was going to do based on random things such as the moon and the stars, but I never got around to it. Same thing with some of my new character designs that I was going to turn into adoptables to sell over on DeviantArt. Some of them I have on there, the others they just didn't happen. <laughs> Something that I enjoy when doing these sketchbook pages is whether it's something for myself or for others, it gives me a chance to practice where I feel a bit more perfectionistic when it comes to my digital art. I like being able to have the option of colored pencils and markers and all of that just to add a splash of color and extra layers. Now yes, I can add many layers to my digital artwork, but I've noticed that the eyes catch on to what I want as the finished product, whereas if I just have one solid colored line, it makes me think that it is line artwork, and that's where I'm at. I can't erase or change details later on. And honestly, some of these sketches, they may be sloppy and choppy to me, but others may actually really enjoy what I've created, and I think that that's something fun, and why I want to share these with others is because if me practicing drawing anatomy inspires somebody by saying, hey, I like that, that's actually a really good tip, then that's something that makes me even more happy, because I may not like how some of these look, like for example, those hands look horrible to me, but somebody else might really enjoy them. I don't really know what it is for me personally, but when I have something that I don't like, I cover it up with sticky notes or another drawing, but I also don't like to completely get rid of any illustrations anymore. I used to throw out some of my old sketchbooks just because I was used to that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch my previous video about my story time. A lot of my sketchbooks went missing, and a lot of these that I have nowadays I treasure because if I have to give up a sketchbook for saving space, I will take a lot of pictures of them. I will record videos of them now so that if I do ever have to get rid of them, I have an archive to look back on. I also really enjoy getting to look at all of these weird, wacky ideas, and almost like how people, they remember a memory to the core detail when they smell something familiar. I have that same feeling when looking at these illustrations. When I look at them, even if they're not dated, if there's a character, if there's a scene, I remember when I've either watched it or came up with it. Some of these illustrations, they may look like they're from around Halloween time, but for me, they're more like spring or summertime just because I remember the dates in my head a lot better this way. It's also something with this page right here that just makes me feel so happy. This is my favorite page. I decided to draw Biscuit and a Fursona version of my avatar stencil fox, just because I realized that although it's fun to have the humanoid cryptic creature and I need to practice drawing humans, I still feel happiest and most comfortable with my fursonas and anthropomorphic designs just because I feel there's more expression I can get, and also drawing an angry human versus an angry canine-like creature with sharp teeth and just that nice little curl of lip and just, I don't know what it is, drawing animal-like creatures with different expressions, I feel there's more of an idea in my head than with humans. That and also, whenever I draw humans, people automatically default to either realistic or anime, and I don't like that because I can never find 
a proper definition for it besides cartoons, but when someone says cartoons, they think of like Looney Tunes or Adventure Time, and that's not the case for a lot of these illustrated characters. So they may not have an exact designated name for them, but I want to be able to create humans that don't look like anime or realism, they can just be my own. Which is something that I've been struggling with, where I have the techniques, I know what I can draw, but I don't know if it's my own style that reads a stencil fox to everyone else yet. I may be able to recognize my characters because, well, I draw them every day, but for example, Fan artwork for Hilda, something that I plan on making in a future video. Does it really look like my style, or does it just look like something straight from a screenshot? <laughs> That's what I want to be able to make as a different distinguishing factor for my illustrations. And although I am curious if it really is my sketches that define my style, or when I start adding detail, rendering, shading, highlights that really makes it my own, at the end of the day, I'm just happy to have made something that looks so much better than what I used to draw when I was younger. I'm pretty sure that young me would be floored by having all of these illustrations to go through, and I'm happy today that I have these sketchbooks that I can go through and make these videos to show you what's on my mind in these sketchbook pages. And although it may not be dozens and dozens of pages, I'm happy to at least be able to fill out a sketchbook every few months. And I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. See you next time! Thanks for watching, till next time here's some playlists of all of my videos, if you'd like to see more and support this channel click the link tree down below, Patreons and the Fennec Fox tier get access to sketches, Arctic Foxes get shoutouts at the end of my videos and access to all of my projects early, Red Foxes get the opportunity to be featured as a background character or a commission instead, and for free, just subscribe to join the Subscribler Squad for weekly videos, stay possum, and I'll see you later!